got going on is our first ever CSE 8A art exhibition. So CSE 8A is the first course that uh, majors in computer science would take at UCSD. We worked with a curriculum that allows them to experience the basic concepts of programming and programming in the Java programming language, but allowing them to manipulate digital images and media. So for example, what we're looking at today is their homework that they created in the fourth week of the class. So they'd only been here four weeks and they made collages. They took at least three different images and they put them together in different ways. They rotated some, they mirrored some, they put filters on others, they blended, and they had the opportunity to develop their own filters to make the pictures come out exactly the way they wanted. Um, this is my first programming class with an object-oriented language. Um, I knew HTML and CSS, um, pretty much just web designing language, and I wanted to take that to another level. Um, I just loved creating stuff from scratch. Any kind of art making I can do and anything I can make, you know, and so programming is just another medium for making art. Pretty much every method makes use of either one or two for loops at the same time. Um, after we learned for loops, I was like, why even use a while loop? You know, for loops will do everything. Or if I could use an if statement, even better. I'm Max Bunker, and um, this particular center square one, uh, the for loop I used, it went through each pixel, and it subtracted 255 minus the specific color in each pixel to get its inverse. Hi, um, my name is Justine Pascual, and I'm in CSEA Day. Um, one of our for loops blended two pictures together. So um, what we did was we took two pictures and then took like a portion of one part and then the portion of the other part and then just basically used the for loop to um, put them together so you can see both pictures in one. Our for loop blends two pictures together. So my for loop is to loop through all the pictures, or the pixels rather. Okay, basically it loops through all of the X coordinates in the picture. So we're using those same sorts of concepts of being able to manipulate the digital images. And yeah, you get to say hello real world by creating your own art, but knowing exactly how it happened. And at the same time, learning these concepts, they're going to serve you for the rest of your years and your, your career as a computer science professional. It's definitely rewarding.